Are you struggling to find the perfect words to express your feelings to someone you love deeply? Some terms that you might have heard and some new ones. In today's video, let's discover some different ways to express or describe your love to someone, along with some ideas for showing your true love on how much you care. Let's start learning. Alright, so here we go. The first phrase is, to have a crush on someone. This means, this is basically an idiomatic expression that describes some kind of romantic infatuation. A simple example sentence that you can use is, say for example, Harry had a crush on Sally since they were at university. Okay, so if you have a liking towards someone or you know someone who has a liking for someone, then you can say he has a crush on her or she has a crush on him. The next one is, ah, I'm sure you might have heard this, love at first sight. This simply means falling in love with somebody the very first time you see them. An example sentence would be, my wife and I met at a party. It was love at first sight. Okay, or I met this particular girl and it was love at first sight. It just means you fell in love with that person the very moment you saw them. The next one is a match made in heaven. This particular phrase means a relationship in which two people are very great together because they complement each other. An example sentence is after our wedding, a lot of people came and said that my wife and myself are a match made in heaven. Okay, so you can try this out next time. The next phrase is fall in love with somebody. This basically just means to start feeling love towards somebody. It's quite simple and commonly used. An example sentence is Harry fell in love with Sally the moment he saw her. Or Harry fell in love with Sally from their university time onwards. Anything of that sort. The next one, this is something that is a bit rarely used, but it's lovely. It is be head over heels. It just means to be in love with somebody very very much an example sentence would be um, look at them they are head over heels in love with each other or you can say look at that couple they are head over heels in love with each other before i jump on to the next few expressions show some love towards that channel if you're getting some value then all you have to do is hit that like button okay let's go on the next is have the hearts for somebody this basically means finding somebody extremely attractive an example sentence is Harry has the hearts for Sally the moment they started getting to know each other or Harry had the hearts for Sally the moment he saw her you can use any of these kind of sentences. The next one is blinded by love. This means basically a person is so madly in love with somebody that they cannot see that person's faults or negative characteristics. An example is Harry is so blinded by love that he cannot see anything else other than the good nature of Sally. The next one is be lovey dovey. Okay, lovey dovey. You can pronounce it however you like. It just means expressing your love in public by either holding, hugging, or kissing. Another way of saying public display of affection. An example sentence is Jack and Jill are so lovey dovey, and people around them just cannot stand it the next one to be smitten with someone 
This basically means to be completely captivated by someone and feel immense joy. An example sentence is Jack is smitten with this girl Jill he just met yesterday. The next is hung the moon. Well, it just means to idolize someone, to think that someone is capable of some extremely difficult acts. Let me give you an example sentence. Everyone thinks Jack is a very normal guy, but his girlfriend thinks he hung the moon. That means he's done something extraordinary. Brilliant. Now, I really do hope you can use some of these for your Valentine's Day or just to express your love to someone. Remember, try to make it more interesting and express it with a smile on your face. If you would like to get in touch with us for some spoken English, then we can help you. Not to find a partner, but to improve your English. All you have to do for that is log on to our website and drop us a query or even just sign up with any of our packages. You can also use the contact form that is pinned in the comments to get in touch with us. If this video is informative, then you know what to do. Please share it with your loved ones. We would love to have you on our YouTube community. And for that, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Do check out some of our other videos on this channel whenever you get time. That's it from Genesis Learning this week. I'm your trainer, Noel. And I will see you next week. Ciao.